The Rumor Report. With Angela Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. Well, congratulations to Jermaine Dupri. He is getting inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. He is only the second rap act ever to be inducted into that Songwriters Hall of Fame. Last year, Jay-Z was first, and now Jermaine Dupri is going to be joining. Nice. Well-deserved. Right. He put up a video of himself screaming with joy. Here's what that video sounds like. Man, look at God. Look at God. Look at God. Yo, I was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. I, I don't know what else to say, but... <laughs> Drop on the clues, bonds with Jermaine Dupri. I'm sure yes, that's so. exactly how he felt the first time he had sex with Janet Jackson. And uh, Cool and the Gang guy. will be joining him this year, too, also in that class. So cool congratulations. Cool and the Gang. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I can't believe they're not in there already. All right, Tiana Taylor, she's got something new happening. She's opening a 90s-themed nail salon, and it's going to be in Harlem. So congratulations to her. She went on Instagram and confirmed the opening of that salon. is called Junie B Nails, after her daughter, of course. So. I'll drop on a clues bonds for Tiana Taylor, damn it. That's dope. Love Tiana. Heard she working on a new album, too, and that Kanye's executive producing. Yeah, Kanye's producing. executive producing it. I think but, he's producing everybody's album, right? On, um, yeah, Kanye always executive producing an album that never comes out. Well, I believe her album will really come out. So I hope it does. Congratulations to her. I'm actually going to go to the opening for it next week. All okay. right, Cardi B got some gang threats, and that's because she put up a picture of herself wearing a blue fur coat in Minneapolis, and her caption said, I hate wearing flu, but this coat was too popping. So now I guess the Crips had an issue with that, and people started putting all kinds of comments threatening her on her post. So they actually had to remove the caption and all of that. Well, All Star Weekend is in a couple of weeks in L.A., and people need to keep that in mind. Well, right? Next week. I, next week next, in LA. Well, next week, yeah. L.A. is still L.A., by the way. Mm-hmm. Well, no, yeah. L.A. is still L.A., by the way. I just and she'll be there for put All Star, so. Absolutely. They're still taxing artists, mm-hmm. okay? Checks are still being cut to the right people to keep people off people's ass. That's just the way the game goes. All right. Ryan Seacrest has done an article, a letter, and basically this is because an investigation found there was no evidence to support a claim of inappropriate behavior that was made against him by a former colleague. Now, he did this column in The Hollywood Reporter, and he said that those allegations were gut-wrenching for him. He said, to have my workplace conduct question was gut-wrenching. I've always aimed to treat all of my colleagues with honesty, respect, kindness, and compassion. Yet, I knew, regardless of the confidence I had that there was no merit to the allegations, my name would likely soon appear on the list of those suspected of despicable words and deeds. So he said he received a letter from an attorney representing a stylist who accused him of mistreating her when they worked together at E! more than a decade ago. He did deny that claim, and the network has cleared him of any wrongdoing last week. Well, how did they figure out that Ryan didn't do anything? I need Ryan to give the blueprint to everybody else. How did his name get cleared in this situation? Well, they did that's an investigation, question. and but I what, guess I, they, I couldn't wonder, find, they just couldn't find any evidence to support the claims. But what, but what, what evidence is in any of these claims other than the words of the person saying Well, that's some people have know. emails. Some people have text Texts. messages. Mm, so okay. it just depends. Some people on, might have witnesses. Yeah. So if it's no paper trail and, and no witnesses. And it also could be a pattern of behavior that multiple people have said, yes, this is how this person behaved. Now, they need so, actual proof. They can't That's just what say, I'm saying. It got to be paper trail witnesses. Mm-hmm. I just want to know. I just want to know how he cleared his name. Right. All right. So, I mean, I guess clearing his name is that there was just nothing to support her allegations against him. Mm-hmm. So he said, I absolutely want to be part of the change, the progress that is coming. Coming. I did not want to be a postscript of evidence of its cause. So there you go. Oh, well, congratulations to Ryan Seacrest. Nobody believed that he sexually harassed a woman to begin with. I mean, you, I, we can't say what anybody thinks about anyone. No one knows what, anybody's, what, cap- what anybody's capable of. I can of. say what I thought. So I think that, uh, you know, there's people that have done crazy things that I never thought they would have done. But I'm glad for him that this was unfounded. Well, I never thought Ryan Seacrest sexually assaulted a woman. All right. Now, speech. He's the one that put up that original post that Raven Simone reposted with the picture with Jay-Z, Diddy, T.I., Yo Gotti, Swiss Beats, Big Sean, all of them in the picture. And he had some things to say about a group of so-called successful black men, minus Khaled racially, who became rich and famous from perpetuating the worst black stereotypes to the ears and eyes of the whole planet, like drug dealing, pimping, murdering other black men, and disrespecting black women. I know making observations as being a hater. Well, he has since responded to the backlash he got for that post that Raven Simone also got. And here is what he has to say. Salute to all of the people out there that 
understood the simplicity of what I'm saying, which is simply that a lot of hip hop artists, not just the ones in that picture, but a lot of hip hop artists have been congratulated by a white supremacist system of thinking that congratulates people and promotes and puts music out there that pretty much solely talks about our destruction. Oh, God. Speech, you generalized and profiled Pizza every brother in that picture. Solely talk about our destruction. Uh, you know, uh, you're not acknowledging the fact that these brothers have grown and involved and that hip hop is not just one sided like that throughout the history of hip hop. It's been socially conscious rappers who prosper and profit. And even when you're talking about guys in that picture like Jay-Z and T.I., they gave honest depictions of the street. They didn't just glorify the drug culture. They told us the consequences of those harsh realities while telling us about those harsh realities. Stop it, man. All right. Well, I guess he has something coming out uh, this year called the N-Word Factory. So oh, he said, boy. if you were offended by my last post, just stay tuned because you ain't seen nothing yet. All right. I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning. Tune in.